They say to be anti-racist is to be anti-white. That's what they say today. That whole you know woke mob and all that shit. Isn't that kind of ironic though? It's that if you say you're against racism, automatically they assume you're against white people. Could that be because the two are so fucking interconnected? Because the two are like a fucking infection working off of each other, whiteness and racism? Yes, it is. Nobody's against white people. We're against, I'm against their bullshit. They call us the woke mob because we simply care about humanity. That's a sick mind. When you hate people for caring about humanity, when you hate people because they care about their brothers and sisters, when you hate people because they don't share your racist values, that's a sick mind. Let me tell you guys something. I'm going to show you a video right now. I predicted all this fucking shit that's happening right now back in November 2016 when Satan himself was elected into office, the monster Donald Trump. I predicted, and you're going to see what I predicted. I knew all this shit was coming. I could see it. I called it because I knew what white America was doing. They were reacting to a black president. They installed a racist and Trump was very smart. He had a slogan. He had a dog whistle. He had signaling. He had code talk. Make America great again. What did that mean? It meant let's go back to a time where we're going to take the power back to white people. They felt threatened. They felt like they had to go back to another time because it had eight years of a black president. They lost something. So they wanted to go back before Obama, before black people had rights and, and any power at all in their sick minds, their sick, insecure, racist minds. That's how sick and diseased white America is. And Trump knew that and he used it and it worked. It got him elected to the presidency. He used racism as a platform to get elected into the fucking presidency. That's how fucking racist this country is. It's fucking sick and I printed it all. Here's the fucking video right now and you'll see it. In 2016, we have a openly and overt white supremacist as our president elect who is systematically hiring the most racist, vile human beings he can possibly get for an administration. These are people that are known to be associated with Nazis. These are not quiet, shy, white supremacists. These are openly vocal white supremacists, just like Trump led his campaign. He said, hey, I'm running for president, and yes, it's okay to be racist again. We can be open about it. Who needs to be politically correct? Trump said, I'm a racist and I'm proud and so can you be. And here we are. Jim Crow 2.0, motherfuckers. Thank you, white America. You did it once again. Your apathy, your racial apathy, your ignorance, your callous, your complacency, your denial, your silence, your complicity racially has us right where you want us. And you think you're fucking helping yourself? <laughs> you think this white supremacist motherfucker is going to care about your broke ass white America? They're not going to care. And you think, oh, well, I'm not broke. I'm rich. I'm protecting my own. I'm a rich white man. You think you're helping yourself? You think you're helping yourself but living a lie? You think you're helping yourself with all the distrust, with all the racial strife that's happening and that's coming? You think you're helping yourself spiritually, morally? Do you really think this is good for our country? White supremacy, white nationalism, rampant for the next four years. God knows what this motherfucker is going to do and his racist cabinet. God knows how many years he's going to try to take us back. He's got the Senate. He's got the House. He's going to try to affect the Supreme Court. Thank you, white America. You ignorant, racist motherfuckers who voted for Trump. You really think you're helping your cause. All your fear. You're so threatened. You're so threatened by the Mexicans. By the, by the illegal aliens. By the... Um, the immigration, the immigrants, you're so scared. You're so scared of anything that's not white. You've been taught, oh, I've got to protect my whiteness. I've got to protect my privilege. 
I've got to protect my status. I've got to remain on top. This country was made for me. I'm Mr. White. You're pathetic. You're disgusting. And you're a psychopath. It's social, psychological narcissism. That's what white supremacy is. And it's systemic. And it's working very well. When will white America face the reality of what they've done, what they're doing, and where they're going? White America, you're taking us all to hell, straight to hell. You think you're just hurting people of color? You're destroying your very self and you're destroying your country. Until white America can come out of denial, face the white supremacist culture that we are, we will never know peace. Here we are 2023 and just the other day, Representative Paul Sherrill of Tennessee. Uh, I think that's a good idea. I think uh, we ought to uh, do capital punishment by hanging them from trees. It's an actual bill that he proposed. That's right. 2023, folks. Thank you, Trump. Thank you, White America. Here we are. Today, the GOP party is nothing but a bunch of extremists. We're hate, misogyny, white supremacy, homophobia, and Christian supremacy is king. The GOP has become batshit crazy, fascist, racist, homophobic extremist. It's, it's sick. And it's scary what they're trying to do. They're trying to prevent Democrats from even having the ability to vote. They have no respect for democracy. They're traitors. The principles this country was built upon. They're fascists, many of them. And it's spreading like, like wildfire all over the Republican Party. Way too much power, like Mar Marjorie Taylor Greene. Extremist. And Ron DeSantis. Banning everything black. Open racist, open white nationalist, open white supremacist. He don't give a fuck. He's a white nationalist and he's proud. He's banned everything black. No black education, no black history, no black books, no black authors. He, he's banned uh, gayness in the state of Florida, basically. These people are fucking crazy. Bat shit crazy. And like I always said, hate always turns inward. And it will be the destruction of our country if we don't fix it.